hello YouTube this are tutorials and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create a glitch or a twitch effect in uh, Sony Vegas um, and you know it's not like uh, the kind of twitch effect that you've seen before where it's like uh, I don't know it's like a 3d kind of thing but this is a bit different um, it's just basically uh, the TV effect and it's kind of twitching and uh, we have it like blinking a bit, so if I play it, here you see it's, uh, I don't know if you see that, but it's blinking, so, and it's blinking kind of to the sound, to the music, it, in rhythm, so, um, for this tutorial you will need some kind of, uh, sound that's, uh, appropriate for this, blinking or, uh, twitching, and I already have one but sorry I can't give you guys a download link for it because it's from audiomicro.com and I'm not allowed to give anybody their music because it's uh, it's only for me because I like uh, I can <laughs> download it for free because I'm partnered with RPM Network and they pay for it so I can't really give you guys this music or else I'll get in trouble but um, once you have your sound just uh, you know just grab it from anywhere wherever it is and drag it into here and it's gonna it's gonna be in here if you drag it in or you can go file open and do it that way so once you have your sound uh, let's pretend that we just dragged in our sound and uh, we don't really have a video layer yet so let's right click here and click on uh, insert video track and uh, right click here on the video track right there where the video is supposed to be and uh, select insert media insert text media I mean and um, in the text media window or video media generators uh, there should be a duration set it to um, let's say 15 seconds okay and uh, increase the size of it just drag it out like so okay um, so it's like this and let's just play until where it starts to like um, you know this kind of uh, music starts to play that we can sync it in with blinking so so right here it's the first um, sound it's the first like uh, loud hit and that's where we can cut off the uh, the video like so select the video hit S on the keyboard and delete the other part of the video or the text I mean okay so now let's go to um, video effects and select TV simulator and then drag the reset to none uh, sample onto the sample text Okay, so we've, we're gonna have this window here, and um, if you're on Sony Vegas Pro 11, then you're gonna have this button which says animate at the bottom here. If you're on Sony, uh, the lower version of Sony Vegas, then you're probably gonna have a timeline right here, but click on the animate if you have that button here. Okay, and you're gonna get a timeline. And you can just go back to zero seconds uh, where the text video starts and um, actually go to uh, like I don't know like one second or something half a second forward in that timeline right here and uh, let's see um, increase increase the aperture grill the interlacing a little bit and aperture grill to about uh, 3000 or 0 0.3 I mean and interlacing to about um, 1.1 and um, align sync to 0 and scan phasing to 1 all the way up and photo photo phosphorescence I don't know what it says but it's this long one for phosphorescence all the way up and uh, a little bit of static 
just increase the static just a little bit and uh, drag this first keyframe which is right here drag it out and drag the second one which has all these new settings that you sh uh, just put in here drag it all the way to the beginning so that uh, if we play this um, we get this kind of transition from this from twitchiness, twitchiness, whatever into normal text okay and so for the next part um, this kind of um, uh, sound starts where it starts to like abrupt like da 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 you know what I mean and every time it abrupts like that then it uh, we can put a blink to it every time it does that sound so if we go forward to and mark where it starts making that sound um, just before that put a keyframe just before it starts doing that put a keyframe and um, so click the plus to add a keyframe and uh, go forward like uh, I don't know like a few frames just a few frames and add another keyframe and decrease the line sync to zero and um, the aperture grill to about three and interlacing to uh, one and uh, scan phasing to one all the way up or I mean interlacing to point one and aperture grill to point one also and the photo pho phosphorescence to all the way up and um, the static just a little bit up okay and um, now if we play this it starts to twitch and then uh, we want it to end twitching at at where we have this new um, where we have this new sound so um, yeah now to edit that go back to event effects which is the green little button here on the edge the lower one okay and uh, it should already be in the timeline should already be um, like set to where uh, where you want it to end because if you put it in this timeline it should be synced with this timeline if you know what I mean and this tutorial is for more advanced users of Cinema 4D or not Cinema 4D sorry uh, Sony Vegas so yeah you should know what I'm talking about if you've been if you know have a little bit of experience in Sony Vegas but if you don't it's kinda hard to explain some things in Sony Vegas but yeah just put it to where where this new sound comes in and where you want to decrease the amount of uh, like twitchiness in the video okay so um, yeah so now uh, decrease the or I mean increase the line sync and uh, everything else, the aperture grill and everything uh, decrease that so it goes from this to this okay and now for this area right here if I can select it uh, for this area right here we also need to add the blink uh, you know how it's blinking um, and to do that uh, go to the generate media button right here the green one at the top and um, uh, click on the little animate button here next to the color text color in Sony Vegas Pro 8 or 9 or um, it might be different than this so uh, you'll kind of have to um, you know do it a little bit differently but that's how it is in Pro 11 so click on that and um, so it should start twitching about here in the timeline if you put it about here in the timeline oh and actually if you extend this you will get this button which says uh, sync cursor to media timeline if you click on it and it's like this it's dark um, then it will sync this timeline would say it will sync with that timeline so that's a useful thing to do okay so um, when uh, put it to the point where you want it to start blinking and add a keyframe and then if we click on here and zoom in until we can see the little 
uh, frames, every single frame. Then if we go to the next two frames and um, go to text color, click on the color and decrease the, uh, what is it called, uh, the opacity to zero on, uh, you know, beside the color and go back and go to the next two frames and go back to the color and increase the opacity again back um, back to normal opacity so it, as you can see it blinked and if um, if we select uh, all of these keyframes here select the first one and then hold shift select the last one then right click and then uh, click on copy then go to the next frame and right click click paste and keep going so on until um, until you need to stop uh, okay what just happened uh, control Z to see what just happened why did it kind of move aside okay there we go next frame paste okay um, let's keep going next frame paste paste okay and yeah and I think that's good enough uh, that's enough of uh, blinking here okay and if we go forward to the part where it stops you know making that disruptive sound and where when it's just goes like a hit like boom then um, then on this part uh, we'll also add a blink so go back one frame before that sounds sound goes off and add a keyframe oops select text color add keyframe plus and then go to the next frame and actually next two frames and decrease the opacity to zero then go to the next frame and increase the opacity back to normal like so and so we have a blink okay so uh, if we play this this is how it's gonna look and I think that's good enough um, yeah that looks pretty good and you just go uh, go on with the blinking and you know uh, twitching just keep going um, I think this tutorial is getting too long so I'm gonna stop it soon uh, if you want to make a transition from one text to another then you create another text and you know you um, you add twitch to the end of the where it, where it almost ends and you add some blinking to where it almost ends and so it goes like you know from twitchy from normal to twitchy and then to twitchy and then to normal so it makes that transition so yeah I just don't have enough time now to go into the details of that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this wasn't too long for you guys. Um, but yeah, um, please subscribe, please like the video and see you guys later.